We're going to get the latest now on Sandra Bland, arrested after that routine traffic stop earlier this month, then found dead in her jail cell three days later. This morning, we're hearing her voice from jail, learning more about her past. Her sister standing by for an exclusive interview after all the latest from ABC's Ryan Smith. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, George. Sandra Bland's phone call from jail shows her frustration with how a minor traffic incident could have landed her in a cell, but a jail intake form noting a previous suicide attempt that could raise more questions in this mysterious case. This morning, a newly released recording of Sandra Bland leaving this message for a friend the day after her arrest from behind bars. I'm still just at a loss for words, honestly, about this whole process. How to switch in lanes with no signal turn into all of this. That call, obtained by our Houston station, KTRK, taking place just hours after Sandra went before a judge. Her bail set at $5,000. She was working to raise that money. The local sheriff shedding new light on their statement that Sandra Bland committed suicide, releasing this intake form from the day Bland was jailed with a startling admission. She attempted suicide within the last year. But to the question, are you thinking about killing yourself today? Sandra answering no, raising new questions about jailer's decision to house her alone in this cell. She was charged with assaulting a public service officer, stemming from this arrest caught on police dash cam video, starting as a routine traffic stop. Well, the reason for your stop is you didn't fail. You failed to signal your lane change. Within minutes. You mind putting out your cigarette, please? Come on. I'm in my car. Why do I have to put out my cigarette? Escalating into this. Get out of the car. Right. And then you I will light me? you up. Get out. Wow. Now. Wow. Get out of the car. Real failure to signal. You're doing all of this for Get over there. Sandra's family outraged over the tape, urging supporters to continue the fight for justice. Keep tweeting, keep Facebooking, keep utilizing the hashtag Justice for Sandy. Now that jail intake form telling different stories at another point to the question of attempted suicide, the answer is no. On the investigation on her death, despite reports that an initial autopsy of Sandra Bland was defective and another one is needed, while our county authorities reportedly claim it wasn't and a second autopsy is not planned. Still no word on when the autopsy report will be released.